God. We want to spend a few minutes in devotion together, dwelling in God's Word. We're going to finish Psalm 27 that we started last week. Um, this is going to be uh, verse 7 through the end 14 there. So I'll invite you to that um, place in our scripture. If you want to read along first, and then we'll share a devotion, a devotion from Christ in our home. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud, be gracious to me and answer me. Come, my heart says, seek his face. Your face, Lord, do I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You who have been my help, do not cast me off. Do not forsake me, O God of my salvation. If my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Do not give up to the will of my do not give me up to the will of my adversaries or false witnesses have risen against me and they are breathing out violence i believe that i shall see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living wait for the lord be strong and let your heart take courage wait for the lord dwelling in god's word is one thing that we do in faith as we share this journey together waiting for the goodness of God for, um, to be for all time. Uh, and we live our lives of love to make that um, be more and more in the world today. Hope for the Abandoned is the title of our devotion from Christ in our, in our home. If you want to share uh, the devotion together and read along, please be invited to uh, do that here with me. It invites our focus to the 10th verse that we just encountered. If my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Not every house of the Lord is a church. I lived with my grandmother for several years when my parents had other priorities. My niece now lives with her grandmother in the same house, a true house of God that once sheltered me. And it was the church that had nourished both grandmothers who took up my family's forsaken children to faithfully provide for them. Each has her own story of being forsaken by others. Yet being welcomed and sustained by the Lord, who taught them how to do it in turn. In sidewalk encampments, refugee shelters, transitional homes, senior care facilities, prisons, and countless other places, the Lord is powerfully busy through the hands and hearts of loving people, caring for children of all ages who have been forsaken by others. But much remains to be done. Many people are still in need. So with the psalmist, let us pray together. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I might love others as you first loved me. Amen. And as this day unfolds before you, be invited to continue in prayer for orphans and neglected children everywhere. Uh, may God continue to um, uh, flow God's steadfast love through your faithful living today as we share this journey to, to, together. Uh, yes, it is cold here in New Mexico, Karen, so be warm uh, and stay warm this day. Um, may your heart take courage today as you wait for God. Thank you, Pastor Heike. And may we continue to take courage in our hearts as we do indeed wait for God together sharing this journey of life and faith. It's a blessing to share this journey with you. and We look forward to connecting a bit and sharing a time together tomorrow. God bless you.